Yeah, that's right. It's six below. So, instead of going outside, I'm going to shoot a little video inside. I'm going to show you how to play the game of chess against your most dangerous opponent, yourself. Now, let me see. The game in progress. Uh, white has just moved a nice the knight attacking the black queen. Oh! <laughs> this is sure to raise my uh, hits to the thousands. Bare breasts. On YouTube. Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, God, I've had too much sugar today. No, actually, I have had, haven't had enough. Well, I don't want to lose the queen, so we'll move her to here. Okay, now. Now that <gasps> puts my king in danger. There we go. Alright, so counter move coming up. Hmm. You'll notice I haven't captured any pieces yet. This is because when when I play against myself I, I, I try to postpone that as far as possible. Since you're playing at your best for each side, you know, making sure you make the best move for both white and black, what generally ends up when you play chess by yourself is this elaborate cluster fook. And, and what it comes down to is you wait. Each side is waiting for the other one to make the first foolish risk. Then the bloodbath starts, and we see who's left standing at the end of it. Now, it's White's move, right? Right. Okay. And oh, first blood about to be drawn. I can't wait anymore. I like to kill off my bishops right away first. I don't know why. Okay. Now what? Now what? <laughs> now, oh, now it's white's move again. Uh, hmm, that bishop's stuck. He's stuck. Stuck. All right. The queen. The queen comes forward. All right. Black brings. Ah, oh, black was going to do that. There we go. Black attacks the white knight. Hmm. It's kind of boring, isn't it?